So you want to grow a eucalyptus tree in your garden? You don't know the variety to choose from? Well, I tell you what, there's hundreds of varieties of eucalyptus trees and the key for growing them in a colder climate or a cooler winter climate is provenance where the seeds collected and you want to get it from a hardier species of tree. So right there is a eucalyptus de Buzavillae. We cut that one down. It was 30 feet tall. Actually hydro cut it so it's all bushed out again. Uh, we have eucalyptus nitens there. We have a lot of different varieties. We have a lot of nitens along the fence line there. There's perniana and uh, there's some big ones there. Those are mountain gums. Those are been growing in the ground for a few decades. I grew those from seed. Those Eucalyptus dollarium pliana got the seed from Tasmania. And then in here we have some snow gums, Passiflora, and uh, there's a whole bunch of different varieties. Wendy cut this one down and is uh, coming back up again, thank God. Um, you can cut them down to the ground and they most of them will re-sprout back. There's some varieties in here I'm really not even sure about. This one here is a tender one. It froze down in 2008 and now the thing's like 30 feet tall. I'm not sure what it is though. There's Yomanii there. There's Gunnii and then there's Yomanii behind it. Yomanii has done very well. I planted that in 2007. There's Eucalyptus archeri there. Uh, there's Eucalyptus nipophila over there. There's Parvulas. We have about uh, two dozen species of Eucalyptus here. We have Neglecta and a uh, bunch of other varieties. Cordata. Um, I'll show you up in this garden here. So these are pretty big trees. These ones are reaching about 100 feet in height. And uh, my advice to you is don't plant things underneath them because they do suck everything out of the soil. They're very greedy and uh, they're messy. They're very messy trees. They drop a lot of bark, but they are beautiful. And uh, just, I mean, they look amazing, I think, in our garden. And a lot of people ask what they are when they come from other parts to stay at our b, b What are those trees? Can we grow them in Ontario? No, you cannot grow them in Ontario. They are a short-lived tree, usually in a colder climate. And here, in our climate, they do grow big and they do mature and they do actually self-seed as well. So lots of eucalyptus trees to choose from. Plant them in well-draining soil, full sun, and uh, they are evergreen. They're a nice BLE, broadleaf evergreen. They flower, the bees like them. And uh, it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, one of my favorites we have is Kybiensis. We have Kybiensis down there as well. And it's got really nice leaves on it. So anyway, look up your hardy eucalyptus trees. You can Google that, hardy eucalyptus trees for cooler climates. And uh, that'll tell you what to grow where you are. Uh, this one's been cut back. I cut it back and you see all the juvenile foliage coming out. That's a mountain gum. I'm gonna cut it back again too. So a bunch of them we cut down in here we use for firewood and uh, they all come back again. Right here, see? There, they've all got the juvenile foliage on them. So anyway, thanks for watching, folks. If you have any questions about eucalyptus, leave them in the comments below and I can answer them for you. Thanks for watching. And remember, only prune them in the spring and summer months when you're in this, uh, this far north. Cheers.